I just touched my face, idiot. It's crazy out here, guys. Coronavirus is crazy. A lot of people had gloves and masks in there and stuff. Yeah, guys, so amidst this, what happened? I'm trying to make a YouTube video out here. All right, guys, so amidst this coronavirus chaos and madness, hope you guys are staying safe. Wash your hands, don't touch your face, stay inside, unless you absolutely have to go out. I was doing some color grading yesterday and I noticed a new thing in Premiere. Let's go ahead and jump into Premiere. I'm gonna show you this really cool trick. Hopefully you learned something and can take away some of the boredom going on with coronavirus. What was your transition sound? Oh, thank you, I need, yeah, I needed that. <laughs> So we just finished up cleaning here as you guys just saw and I was going over to my computer to start the screen recording to show you guys how to export a LUT in Premiere and I found out that you've actually been able to do this for like five years in Lumetri so and I noticed a new thing in Premiere you are really dumb for real did anybody know how to do this before comment below if you guys knew how because I didn't I always thought that you could only do it in like DaVinci and I found you could do it in Photoshop a while back so let's go ahead and go to the computer and I'll show you guys how to export a LUT in Premiere using Lumetri and Photoshop and DaVinci as well You guys like the glasses? I normally don't wear glasses, but they block the blue light from the screen, so I've been trying to wear them lately, trying to protect my eyesight, you know. I don't want to have damaged retinas after all this time spent on the computer and looking at screens all day long, so. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick color grade on these clips here. If you guys want to see a tutorial on color correcting, color matching, color grading, um, getting the cinematic look, any of those kinds of things, let me know in the comments below. Um, I've been thinking about doing a video like that anyway, so I'd love to hear you guys' feedback if you guys want to see something like that. But I'll do a quick grade on these real quick, and then we'll move on to exporting the LUTs. Okay, so we got our first clip here. This is what it looked like before color correction and after. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Lumetri Color, and we'll see these little three lines here. Click on that, and you can export a look or an export a dot cube. And you can also save a preset if you just want to keep it inside Premiere. But today we're going to be exporting some LUTs. So hit export dot look. So what we're going to call it is void scene nine LUT and save. All right, we save that dot look file. And let's go ahead and save a .cube file and we'll save voidc9lut.cube. What's the difference between a look file and a cube file? I actually don't know. Difference between look file and cube file. Interesting. So this is saying that looks are limited to Premiere Pro. So I guess if you export a look, it's not going to work in other programs. From what this website is saying, Premium Beat, I trust them. But you can export cube files actually work in a variety of programs and also LUTs. I think .LUT is another file type. Not exactly sure. So you may be thinking, I've never used LUTs before. I don't really know how to use a LUT. I've heard this term before and I don't really understand it. Let me go ahead and explain that a little bit. So in Premiere, the way you load a LUT in, there's a couple different ways to do it. So the first thing you see here is you see an input LUT under basic correction. So you have these defaults that Premiere gives you. I'm not exactly sure why these specific ones are the default ones, but you can also go to browse and find your own LUT. But you wanna be careful. So if you're doing an input LUT, basically that puts a LUT on top of your image before you do any color correcting. You can't adjust that LUT at all. So if I was gonna put this Alexa default and LUT on, anything I adjusted from here is gonna be taken from that LUT already applied. So you see, even though I bring the exposure like all the way up, these blacks are not even coming up. And if I bring the blacks up, see how it just brings them up all at the same time. I mean, you can see in the waveform, it's not bringing up any of that data. It's because it's already baked in using the input LUT. But see the difference if I take the input LUT off and I just bring my exposure up, see how everything comes up with him. Whereas before, only he was being really brought up and every all those blacks were staying right at that really low black point because you had that input LUT on. Your alternative is, is you can go down to the creative tab and the creative tab, you can add a look here. And so this look is gonna be coming after your original color correction. So if you add a, let's say the Cinespace RGB. So even though I've added this LUT already and see all these blacks are crushed, if I bring the exposure up, this is, this is working before the LUT. So I still have all that detail that's coming before that LUT. So I can even bring the blacks up a little bit. It's not just pulling them up 
completely even across the board. The other thing that's nice about Creative LUTs is you have the intensity slider. So you can actually move your intensity of how much you want that LUT to be affecting it. So let's go ahead and find the LUT that we just exported and let's bring that back into Premiere and let's apply it to our image and, and we can see just how easy it is to export a LUT, bring it back in and apply it to a clip. So in Lumetri, we'll go under the Creative tab, click the drop down there and then we'll see where it says Look. And right now it's set to none because there's no LUT in there right now. Then we'll click on Browse. And this is going to be C9 LUT dot look. So we'll bring that in, boom. The exact same look we just created before. Okay, so we've got the same clip inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. And so what you want to do is right now we're on the editing tab. So what you want to do is go down to the bottom and we want to go to the color tab, which makes a lot of sense because when you're color grading, you're already on the color tab. So click on this clips here at the top right. So if you want to export a LUT, all you have to do is go to that preview thumbnail. So we're going to right click on this thumbnail here and we're going to hit generate 3D LUT, the 33 point cube. Boom, save it. There we go, it worked. Okay, so now we're back in Premiere. Let's go ahead and load in that LUT that we exported from DaVinci. So we'll go to browse and we'll click on our Void C9 LUT from DaVinci. Bring that in and boom. So we've got that same color correction that we did in DaVinci, exported to a LUT, brought it into Premiere. Just as easy as that. Okay, so now we're inside of Photoshop. We've got a couple of adjustments here. So in Photoshop, if you go to File, Export, Lookup Tables. So if you didn't know, I should, I should probably say this earlier in the video, but it's fine. A LUT stands for Lookup Table. Fun fact, we'll do a 3D LUT and a cube, and we'll do high grid points. We'll do 64. Photoshop.LUT. Okay, we'll save that. Let's see what we get out of that one now. So let's go ahead and import our LUT from Photoshop. So we'll go to Browse, go our Photoshop.3DL. Click on that. Nice. That worked out nicely. Brought it right in. Sweet. All right, guys, so that's how you export your color grade into LUTs that you can use in other programs or you can use later in the same program. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Let me know if you had any questions. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you can see all the new videos that are coming out. Hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe out there, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.